Welcome to CEO.ca, the leading community for investors in junior resource and venture stocks. My name is Amrit Gill, and joining us today is Alex Storges, CEO of Osprey Advanced Materials. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. First uh, day here at PDAC in Toronto. How are you finding it, and what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to uh, reconnecting with a lot of the uh, uh, old work colleagues and also shed some light about our uh, opportunity with uh, Osprey Advanced Materials and our recent acquisition of the uh, Titan project. It is uh, great to uh, see everybody at the conference and uh, looking forward to a great few days. So walk us through the company overview and uh, what it entails. We're based in uh, Toronto, Ontario, and our flagship project is called Titan VTM, which is located about an hour and a half north of uh, North Bay, or within a six hour drive of Toronto Pearson Airport. We're focused on uh, three main commodities of iron ore, titanium, and uh, vanadium, which is uh, w- which oftentimes occur together in similar projects. We acquired the project uh, in August of 2003, and in a very short period of time, we've been able to uh, shed some light on the uh, fantastic potential that we see and what makes all of us very excited. So we are um, we are an advanced stage exploration project, and we have about 46 million tons of uh, ore. And on that note, of we tell us about your team and the experience that they bring to the table. I'm the chief executive officer of the uh, company. My background is in uh, finance, and I've been uh, uh, affiliated with uh, a, a small brokerage firm in Toronto, which uh, has uh, focused on mining, cannabis, psychedelics, and a lot of other sectors. But uh, this... Um, this particular project has been uh, taking up most of my time, and I'm excited to continue uh, to uh, focus on it and create value for our shareholders. On our uh, board and management team, we have uh, Mr. Brian Youngs and Mr. Uh, Dale Schultz, who are most uh, recently known for uh, their fantastic uh, technical work at uh, Snow Lake uh, Lithium, which is uh, a NASDAQ-listed uh, lithium exploration company. They also had uh, a good track record of past uh, discoveries and uh, very interesting projects that they've been affiliated with. We also on our board, we have uh, Mr. Andres Tinajero, who is uh, currently uh, the incumbent CEO of Talisker Mines, and uh, Mr. Paul Woods, who is the uh, Chief Executive Officer of VTU Metals. We are constantly uh, adding to our team, and uh, this is uh, just the tip of the iceberg of the uh, of our amazing staff that does fantastic work to create shareholder value. Well, let's delve into it. Tell us about the projects and the history there. The project was originally discovered in the 1940s when uh, there was a big demand for iron ore and titanium during the uh, Second World War. And uh, unfortunately for most of the uh, century following the war, the project uh, has sat uh, dormant until it was again um, rediscovered and, um, and looked at more seriously by various companies and prospectors. Um, in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, it was drilled uh, extensively by uh, by a TSX listed company in 2004 and 2005, which completed about 10,000 meters of drilling, uh, followed by uh, a resource estimate, of, um, which is still valid until uh, today. It's uh, changed hands uh, several times, and uh, most recently, uh, following our acquisition, we are looking to uh, really shed the lights on the um, potential that we see and uh, the value creation catalyst that uh, will be key as we uh, continue to advance it and uh, prove up the, uh, the deposit. Uh, for our viewers at CEO.ca, walk us through the deal with Metalite Resources and the capital raise. At the moment, uh, Osprey Advanced Materials is a private uh, company. We uh, have announced a letter of intent with Metalite Resources, which is a CSC listed uh, uh, exploration company that uh, is... Um, that we uh, intend to doing a re- reverse takeover with. The ideal is subject to a $800,000 raise minimum. And uh, the uh, focus of that uh, uh, of that raise will be mostly to um, uh, advance the earlier stage exploration. But uh, this is just, again, the tip of the iceberg of what our plans for the Titan project are. And uh, we believe that even with relatively modest amounts of capital, we can demonstrate robust um, economics and robust uh, re- results. We do intend to um, to uh, drill the project and uh, eventually uh, uh, take it through a PA stage as we get more information. And uh, Alex, what sets your company apart from the competitors? There is a few uh, key uh, differences. So one is our project is located on uh, on uh, patent claims within a, a relatively uh, 
close distance uh, to um, infrastructure and also a major uh, major uh, hubs uh, w uh, with a lot of resources for, for the uh, mining industry. We're about 10 kilometers away from Ontario Northland Railway and about three and a half kilometers away from the power line. And those are the essential features for uh, projects of this uh, of this type. We um, we also have been very um, careful with our cash, and uh, we're very we're we're fiscally responsible when it comes to managing our shareholders' funds. We also believe that uh, the uh, quality of the deposit is uh, is far by none, and uh, we can uh, and the uh, quality shows through through our resource modeling and through uh, the economics that we intend uh, to do. We. We, we recognize that the size is uh, on the smaller side, but uh, we are focused on the quality and uh, the um, the the uh, exceptional resource grades and uh, the uh, geology that we have within the, the within the deposits. So to put it shortly, we are focused on making money for our shareholders and, and showing where the value is due. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers today? We hope uh, everybody comes along for the rights. This has been a very exciting time in a relatively short uh, period of time. And we look forward to uh, building Ontario's next iron titanium vanadium mine. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having us. Mm -hmm.